our colleagues at the mission in Australia, in partnership with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and Indian law enforcement agents, recovered a 500-year-old stolen statue uh, of Hanuman. Diplomats in our mission to India regularly visit temples, stupas, uh, gurdwaras, both to promote our shared value of pluralism and religious tolerance. One way that we show our support for religious diversity is through helping to preserve vital pieces of cultural heritage around the world. Through efforts like the uh, U.S. Ambassador's Fund for Cultural Preservation, we're helping to restore damaged historic buildings. We're helping to recover lost or stolen cultural objects, like paintings and sculptures. Just this past February, our colleagues at the mission in Australia, in partnership with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and Indian law enforcement agents, recovered a 500-year-old stolen statue uh, of Hanuman, a Hindu deity, and returned it to the Indian government. Another way that we demonstrate our support for religious freedom is through celebrations like this one, which is one of many happening across uh, the State Department. For example, in our embassy in Abu Dhabi, a guest last week uh, decorated Arungali in the main entrance, uh, while at uh, Embassy New Delhi, local staff, community members, showcase traditional dances. Each of these efforts, each bond that we build between ourselves and other countries, makes it easier to collaborate on so many of the pressing issues of our time. Diplomats in our mission to India regularly visit temples, stupas, uh, gurdwaras, both to promote our shared value of pluralism and religious tolerance and to partner together on common challenges. And over the past two years, Mission Delhi, across community members of the Hindu, Sikh, Jain, and Buddhist faiths, among others, have hosted vaccination drives in places of worship around the country as part of the overall effort to help more than 25 million Indians get their COVID-19 vaccines.